Let's talk about channel utilization, how we measure it and how we use it. Well, first off, we count all the transmitted and received packets from the LoRa channel. This is everything that comes from our radio, everything that is received to our radio from other meshtastic devices, and all the other packets received um, from other compatible devices like LoRaWAN, Helium, and really anything else using LoRa on the same channel. So we can count that as noise. That's received. We count it anyway. So what we do is we, we block up a minute into six windows, each of 10 seconds each, and we count the number of milliseconds of airtime used in each of those windows. Really simple to do. This is a rolling window. And if you'd like to know, all the milliseconds here count up to just about 23% of channel utilization. So when we talk about channel utilization, what is actually good? Well, we like to think that anything below 25% is green, right? Very low utilization, not going to have a problem, almost no packets colliding with each other, you're doing good. At about 50, 25 to 50%, you're in orange. You know, that's okay, not a problem, your network is still healthy. What you want to avoid is being above 50%. Above 50%, if you're uh, maintaining that over a long period of time, you've got something going on. You're sending a lot of messages. You've got a uh, an application that is misbehaving. Try to avoid it if you can. So let's talk about examples. How are we actually using the channel utilization metric? Well, first off, for the stored and forward plugin and the range test plugin, uh, we will wait to send until channel utilization is less than 25%. So we try to keep everything in green. Um, we do know that both of these two can very easily become a denial of service attack on the network, and we want to make sure that everything stays nice and kosher. We've also put this in for position updates. This is for sending GPS location. Um, normally, Position is only sent about once every 15 minutes, but some people like uh, turning this up and uh, sending position updates more frequently. Um, we've seen people trying to send position updates once a minute, every 30 seconds, 15, um, and especially with the smart position uh, setting, um, that can send positions up to, you know, once every 30 seconds or so. So in that case, we will only send if channel utilization is less than 40 percent. Now you're going to ask if uh, we wait 15 minutes in the default setting if uh, we'll have to wait 15 more minutes if we skip. Well no, the way it's written right now is it will just uh, keep an eye on that uh, on that number, uh, send as soon as it hits below 40 percent, and then you'll wait until the the next time period. So you'll probably not notice this at all um, we'll just have fewer reports of uh, devices crashing or not transmitting. So that said, think about this yourself. How else can we use this? How else can we use channel utilization? How else can we use this to prioritize packets? If you've got any thoughts, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you.